Hey world, what's up right now? 53rd application to be for you guys here. Got, I believe, five applications for you guys, and got a couple that are paid, a couple that are free, so that's good news for both. I do not have Need for Speed Undercover in this application, and as of now, guys, I am not planning on purchasing the application at $10. That is too much money that I would want to spend on just another racing application. You guys can leave in the comments below about how amazing, how amazing it is, but it's just another racing application and I never find too great of replay value from those so at 10 bucks I'm staying away from it I will be app sniping it though so I will try and get it as soon as a price drop does occur for it but anyway for this app review we're going to start it off with fishing frenzy it is I believe temporarily a free application from the app store uh, I know that it was paid for a while but for right now it's going to be free so if you do uh, have any interest in this go out and get it ASAP but anyway for this main menu you have uh, it's called fish frenzy I'm sorry and you have play options and high scores and then you can go through uh, play mode and you use the accelerometer to tilt left and then also to cast your line by uh, tilting downwards which will probably get it really annoying with the reflection on my uh, lamp up there but anyway so what you do is when you tilt left you move your little boat your very very small fishing boat along with your uh, fisher girl inside of it and uh, it will tell you which fish are safe or okay for you to grab and then another cool feature about it is once you do catch a fish, you have to angle your boat to actually make sure that the fish lands inside of it for the points to count. Um, as you proceed throughout the entire game, more fish that you'll be trying to um, actually catch will be added. And then also there'll be some enemies that you won't that you'll want to try and avoid, such as um, electric eels. There's swordfish that you don't want to go near. There's quite a few fish, actually, that you're going to have to try and avoid later throughout this application. But as you do find more enemies that you're trying to stay away from more bad fish, there's also uh, bigger fish that are worth more points. Example, this one coming through right here. Same thing, you just catch it, flick it right back up. You don't really have to put any pressure into or any real movement at all to try and cast them in. Once you just catch them by the mouth, they flick up, and then all you got to do is just move your boat so that they can land inside. And that's pretty much it. You have your HUD at the very top. <clears throat> that has the lives on it, which will show you how many times that you've actually failed a level or like something's happened to your line. And then uh, the level that you're on currently, there's your time, which is currently just going down. I'm about to lose. And then your target score that you need to get five points for the first beginning fish, and then eventually it goes up to like 10 and 15 points. Um, game over, I just lost, as you see right there. You can click retry if you want to waste one of your lives, but that's pretty much the entire application. That's going to be called Fish Frenzy. Um, it was free when I got it from App Sniper. I recommend checking it out because it's free. If it does get paid out, or if it does go up and back, uh, become a paid application again, then you're going to have to base it off this review because I'm, I wouldn't personally spend any money on that, but for a free application, it's definitely uh, worth at least checking out for one. So that's going to be called Fish Frenzy, a temporarily free application from the App Store. Next one that I have is called Whack It Gangster, and it's just the clack it, or... Yeah, the classic. No, it's the classic kind of gameplay with uh, whack-a-mole. You got a few different places where gangsters and gangster kind of stuff will pop up. Uh, I think you got th four places that stuff will actually pop up. And what you do, you have a lot of stuff at the top. You have your HUD, which is going to be your score. That's your high score. Uh, your temporary score is going to be over here. Your lives right there the time that's going on and then what level you're on and then for the main menu you have new game high score and your rules rules you can go through it kind of was confusing at first until you really figure out what you're trying to actually tap but you get points for hitting the girl that will come up the gangster that will come up and he will eventually shoot at you so you want to get him ASAP and then you want to avoid hitting the dynamite stick which is random as heck but anyway it's very simple and all you do is you just tap them when they pop up yeah they come out of five different spots and gradually they will start popping up faster and they will start shooting at you so that you will take damage which kind of is cool when you take damage I'll try and take some damage right now if they start shooting oh there goes a life damage you get blood on the screen which I think was a pretty cool feature I already lost because I just got shot so many times but I just wanted to show you guys I think it's actually pretty cool that you can get shot like that and take blood uh, shed over your screen that's the entire application that's all I'm showing you it's going to be called whack it gangster it's a paid application it's got fun replay value. I've played it. That was my third time playing through it. Um, I don't know. I couldn't see myself actually wanting to pay to get whack it. Uh, it's just whack-a-mole. There's other games out there like that that are probably free in the App Store. And it's a classic game, but 
the replay value on it really just isn't that great for me to actually want to go out and spend a buck or two on it. So that's really up to you personally if you want to go out and buy it. But that's going to be called Whack It Gangster. I think it's a dollar from the App Store. Next one that I have for you is going to be called Arcade Curling. I also got this one from the App Store uh, for free. It's got a price drop on it right now, and it's it's a good application for curling. If you don't know what curling is, uh, you throw these little stone objects down, um, and then you have these little sweeper guys, and they brush in front of the ice to make it so it'll go farther or slower. And it's it's kind of hard to explain. You have to really fit. It's kind of like shuffleboard on ice would be how I'd describe it. But um, I mean, for curling, for a curling application, they did a superb job. It's a fantastic curling application. But for just a playing game kind of application, it's boring as heck, and it's redundant as heck. It's very, very boring, and it, it loses all fun pretty quick. I, I, um, I went through a couple rounds on it, and uh, I'll just show you right now. You have new game. You can play against a, a actual... Uh, another person two player if you want to go in that but uh... pretty much you're just playing against computer that's what i've done go into new game how many rounds you want to do two rounds you don't want to play this too long so stay on two rounds because six rounds will take forever um... start game and then this is going to be the computer and what you do is you just simply just flick you pull up how far you want to go and you let go and then that's him sweeping right now as you see a little black little thing going back and forth that's the computer sweeping uh... that will increase the stones distance by clearing the ice in front of it and then now it's my turn so what you do it's pretty simple actually you just pull and on the left side next to my little stone you're actually going to see that little power bar see that going up and down it's right here you can actually see how fast you're going to throw it and we're just going to try and throw this one straight and we're going to knock the uh, computer stone out of the way nope going too far right is it nope I hit a little bit so they both went out of bounds I both hit alright maybe it didn't crap anyway so I think we each get eight or nine stones to actually throw and it gets boring by like the fourth stone you can't skip through what's happening right now watching the computer you cannot push anything to skip through that which is very very annoying um, simply because it's pretty boring to watch and very repetitive and I don't always want to see what the computers doing or how they're playing against me and that's pretty much the entire application that's all I'm going to show you you play just rounds upon rounds similar to this there's no bonuses there's no little achievements you can get you try and get closest to this bullseye center and the more stones at the end that are inside that circle pretty much wins the round that's it that's all I'm going to show you that's going to be called arcade curling Go check it out because it's free. You can play with it a little bit, but if that is paid application, if that gets jacked up, to, jacked up to actually be money again, I would definitely recommend staying away from it and steer clear of it. It's not that fun. Terrible replay value. You will not get your money's worth out of that application. But for free, if you want to go check it out, it's called Arcade Curling. Next one that I have for you guys is a very, very original application. It's going to be called Card Ninja. And I played it at first, and I was confused at first because it doesn't do... A very good, it, it doesn't do a job. It doesn't do any job at all of trying to explain on what you're supposed to do in this application. There's a question mark over here, but that pretty much just tells you about who made it and stuff. And then uh, from that point on, you have start new game, and that's pretty much it. That's where you get dropped into. So it tells you kind of what you're supposed to accomplish, but not how to do it. So challenge one: uh, how many cards you need to keep at the end of the round to continue. And then you flick the matching targets, this little red blinking thing right here. As you progress through all the levels, you'll either have to flick matching targets, follow moving targets, match the pattern on them, match the colors. There's a couple different things that actually do keep the game fun and interesting as you go along. Um, so you can go to continue, and what you pretty much do is you'll have different colored and different pattern cards stack up, as you see right there. And then from that point on you'll have these little bars on the side of the screen and depending on what color it is you need to flick in a certain amount of time and at a certain sensitivity to get points um, if I flick too hard I will lose points because that's not stealthfully like a ninja um, that confused me at first I didn't know that I had to do it stealthily and like smooth like that I was just flicking as fast as I could to try and get this with the quickest time and that's why I wasn't progressing through the game at all and I was doing terrible but you do really need to take your time on it make sure that you get the correct color, correct pattern, and then also make sure that you do it with an appropriate amount of sensitivity. You're not flicking the crap out of your screen. 
Um, so I'll show you another round. The bars will be in the move. Um, you actually get up to have like five bars on the screen at once, which definitely can make it difficult because some of the color choices that they actually do choose for this application are really kind of annoyingly similar at some point. You'll have like a a light turquoise blue, you'll have like a dark blue, and then you'll have like a brown. And it's pretty difficult to actually tell the difference, especially if you're trying to do it in a set amount of time. But from this gameplay that I've seen, I think I, th there's three rounds in each level, I believe. I think there's just three. Um, but I think I got up to like level six or level seven. And it's really, really fun. When you figure out how to play this application, it's a blast. Um, not because it's like constantly different or anything like that. I mean, yeah, that is a definite plus on my part about how they were smart enough to add different goals that you're going to have to acquire for each level. But to the point where you're trying to actually have something this original and this fresh on an application, there's been hundreds of thousands of applications released in the App Store, and I have never seen or heard of an application like this. If you have, tell me about it in the comments. I'll go check it out, but really this is a very original concept that I've never seen or heard of before and for the first time ever seeing it, they did a fantastic job. I would definitely recommend going to check it out um, and it's going to be called Card Ninja. I think it's, I want to say two bucks. I don't know, check the annotations up here or the more info over here. That's all I'm going to show you for this application. It's a fantastic applica application. They did a great job on it. Uh, it's called Card Ninja. Next one that I have for you, I'm actually going to end this really quickly. Hold on. Alrighty guys, sorry, now I got my last application for you guys. It's going to be called Pick Free, and if you've heard of a company that released the application called Text Free Light and Text Free, this is the same thing pretty much only with pictures. And those applications, the text free ones, they allowed you to send any type of text message to cell phones or to email addresses. Um, for free pretty much. The uh, text free light had like a limit of 10 per day or something like that and there was also ads built into the application and then the upgraded one which was $6 that allowed you to send as many texts as you wanted to cell phones, to emails, pretty much to anything like that and then there's also no ads built into the application and this is pretty much the same thing. This is called pick free and it pretty much just allows you to send pictures from any device. It could be an iPod touch or it could be an iPhone and you can send them to cell phones, you can send them to emails, you can send them pretty much anywhere that you would ever want to send a picture which is definitely a cool feature and this is the six dollar version and what this allows me to do is I can send I got my cell phone right over here hold on a second I'm going to have to cover up my number so you guys don't see this but what you do is you select a photo and then from here let's uh, pick this one I erased all my photos I completely just cleaned my iPod up because I had a lot of stuff on here that I didn't want anymore so we'll go in here we'll send my new background actually so you can go through the photo really quickly and what you have here is you can send it to a contact that is already stored onto your device by typing in a name. Let's see if I wanted to type it to Bill. I don't have any contacts on my device because I never really need to. I have an iPod Touch, not an iPhone. So if I don't want to send it to a name or if I don't have already one stored onto my device, click 1, 2, 3 in the bottom and you can send it to a mobile phone. Um, so I'm going to cover up. Actually, I'm just going to do this out here. Let's see. Alrighty, you can't see what it says, so now I'm going to send it, and it sends pretty dang quick actually, if you guys see right there. So there we go, it's all sent, and that's pretty much it. Now, I can get my phone, we will let it load in a second, and just in real time, it should load in a couple seconds, and we'll start connecting, hopefully, because if not, then I look like a complete idiot. I tested it earlier, and it came actually really quickly. There we go. So that was about 10 seconds actually, and that immediately started um, picking up my photo that I just sent to myself, receiving message, that's really, really bright, that's kind of actually annoying, there we go, that's a little bit better, so now it's receiving the message, so it came from my email address, do you now, and there we go, oh, you can't even see it, there you go, From away from this glare from my light above, that's the uh, photo that I just sent to myself, and it is free, it costs no money on this to send it. Um, that's what's awesome about the application. It's six bucks and you get completely unlimited sending of pictures forever. So, recommend it if you're going to be a person that would ever see yourself using an application like this because this is probably the top notch and the top field that you'd be able to find for an application like this. But if you only see yourself using this a couple times, you might want to avoid it because it does have a higher price tag uh, for six dollars. And I know that's a lot of money, but if you're a person that does find yourself sending photos and pictures a lot to people and you don't always have a a cell phone or a camera to do it or like a laptop to actually send it to an email, this is always a good thing to have. It's six bucks stored onto your device and you have unlimited pick messaging to cell phones and emails for forever. So 
That's called Pick Free. It's a $6 download from the App Store. Recommended if you'd see yourself using it a lot. If not, probably want to steer clear. It's a higher price asking. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I got all five of those applications. One time, Fish Frenzy, Whack It, uh, Gangster, Arcade Curling, Card Ninja, and Pick, Pick Free. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Hey, guys. Do you want a full list of every app that I've ever reviewed starting from app review number one? Go to my YouTube homepage and click the link under full list of applications. It'll give you a Word document including the title of an application, the pricing, and the rating. Hopefully this helps. I'll talk to you guys later.